Agora TV. The world is thinking. There are basically four types of businesses. There's the copycatter, the market advancer, the market enhancer, and the market creator. Let's see if you can self-identify which one you're in. Now, if you're in the car rental business, it'd be simple. You'd be Hertz, you'd be Avis, you know the rest. If you're in the overnight shipping business, pretty simple again. You'd be FedEx or UPS, or the, or the rest. If you're in the beer business, not so simple anymore. Just not Bud or Miller, or that microbrew that you might have in your backyard. Essentially, these are all copycat businesses, pretty much doing similar services all within a very broad marketplace that can support a number of competitors and keep them thriving and profitable. The nuances and the differential have much more to do with promotional gimmicks, gimmicks marketing partnerships, or just simple brand loyalty. Market advancer, is that you? Market advancer businesses fundamentally shift how we interact with already existing markets, markets or products in the marketplace. There was Yahoo long before there was Google. And we certainly know how Google completely eclipsed Yahoo. A day doesn't go by where I'm sure you don't say, I'm just going to Google it. And another interesting thing what Google did, it helps us understand that just because somebody's first, you can't, you can't say, ah, oh, I wish I'd thought of that, because you can do it better or different and get into the marketplace that way. Another example of this kind of a market is there's Blockbuster and then there was Netflix. Netflix literally trumped the traditional bricks and mortar by predicting a new niche, delivering it to your door, to your mailbox, and cute little red envelopes. And here's my favorite. Virgin comes in to a crowded, and pardon the pun, crashing airline industry and flies high. How did they do that? Biz techies, internet connectivity, sky mall shopping where you could get that only in the sky, what gadget of, I don't know, a nail clipper, lawnmower, or something or other that you could buy. You could I am somebody that you're interested in a few rows back, order a drink from your, you know, your tab that's open whenever you want set a little MP3 playlist to set the mood, eatyourheartoutmatch.com, all from comfy leather seats. I sound like an ad for Branson. Maybe I should just become a <laughs> stockholder or something. Truly, that is a rocker advancer business. Our next category, is that you, a market enhancer? These businesses solely, exist solely because of another business that exists in a marketplace. Essentially, these are piggyback businesses. For example, who would want a hip set of paneers or the latest altimeter or my hometown hero, the Timbuktu bag, if you didn't own a bicycle? Or here's one you'll understand. We've come a long way since MySpace, baby. You see yourself up there? Or are you working on a business plan to be there? And what, Mark Zuckerberg's movie's coming out next week, and I just was reading my New Yorker last night. He's not even going to go watch it. What's the matter with that guy? If there was a movie coming out about me, I'd go see it. I was just excited as heck when I saw my name up on Baby Boom. And it was just one word. OK, the last category is this you, market creator. These are the businesses that are truly trailblazers. Whole Foods. Sprouted up amongst the agricultural landscape of the mom and pop health food stores, the farmers markets, and the traditional grocery stores. They became the first big box, if you will, 
to house the best of the natural foods and the groceries. Essentially, the jack and the beanstalk, taking leadership and ownership at what, of what has become the name brand health food grocery business, Prius. The first hybrid car capitalizing on the burgeoning media and consumer in interest in green consciousness. Cars that not only get good miles, go easy on the environment, but are almost prestigious to drive and get you a free ride in the carpool lane. <laughs> 